Being the best of best friends, Millie and Molly always did class projects together. But today was different. Right. Attention please, everyone. Huh? I'd like each of you to do a special project all on your own. No, Millie and Molly, this time you can't do it together. Hmm. Oh. Uh, no, Humphrey, it's not about monsters from outer space, Tyrannosaurus Rex or dynamite. Mm. It's about you. But it should be fun. I want you to do a picture story about yourselves to show us something that is special about who you are and give a wee talk about it. You can use photos or magazine pictures or real objects if you like. But try not to be the same as everyone else in the class. That's the point. What makes you special? This project's going to be hard. Yeah, there's so many things to choose from. I like adventures and I like animals lots and have a pet. I'm going to make a list. Well, um, I can't think of anything. <coughs> oh, don't worry, Molly, you will. You'll think of something that makes you special. But as the days went on, Millie found it hard to come up with something too, as other people started to use the same ideas. One thing that makes me special is I'm a pet owner and I like animals. Here's a picture of me with my uh -huh. pet mouse, Brian. And here's a picture of me looking for Brian after he escaped one time. Here's another picture of me looking for Brian. Oh well, that's a couple of ideas I can't use. Pets and animals. Hmm. Brian likes to escape, but I like animals anyway. And I even brought Brian in to show everyone. And make sure he stays in his cage. Oh no, Brian's escaped again. Where is he? Hey! Whoa, watch it! After this, Miss Blythe banned animals, birds, and any living creatures of any kind. Got him! Well done, Harry. None of this was helping either Millie or Molly find the thing that made them special. But Millie still had at least one more idea. No, 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 no. Aha! Here it is. Yay! My adventurer's helmet. One thing that makes me special is I'm an adventurer. <laughs> Once I found this egg. And another time, I caught a big fish. Whoa. And when I grow up, I'm going to catch a big crocodile and save oh. everyone from its scary teeth. Rawr! Bless me, got a soul. Well, thank you, Tom. Yeah! <laughs> Tell him, Tom. Tom? Yeah! Enough, Tom. Being an adventurer does make you special, but you don't have to hurt the wee animals. Adventuring can mean you look after them. Now take the poor creature outside. Yes, Miss Blythe. Look, he killed it! <laughs> <laughs> Though everyone else laughed, Millie had to cross adventurer off her list. While poor Molly didn't have a list at all. I hope those who haven't presented their project are nearly ready. Well, think about something you love to do. Yes, but Harry's already done animals and pets. Well, what about painting? You love art. Being an artist! That sure is one thing that makes me special. One thing that makes me special is I'm an artist. You're <gasps> Poor Millie and Molly. Every idea they had seemed to be taken. And the next day, Miss Blythe was going to ask them to tell everyone what made them special. That night, 
Millie couldn't think of one idea. Millie, time to feed marmalade. Come on then, marmalade. Well, I hope you can come up with something special, Molly. Unless that's it. Sorry, marmalade, but dinner's going to have to wait. Millie had realised that being best friends with Molly made her very special. Millie found the lovely scarf that Molly had given her. Can you see it, Marmalade? And she found the book that Millie and Molly both loved. Here it is! Beetlejuice! Hooray! But just when Marmalade finally thought she was going to be fed some dinner... Now we have to put this together in a pretty way. Oh, I can't wait to tell Molly what makes me special! <laughs> The next day, on their way to school, Millie was bursting to tell Molly what she was going to talk about in class. But politely wanted to know if Molly had found something too. And then I saw a picture of you and me, and I thought, that's what makes me special. You're my best friend. Remember this photo of you and me? Mm-hmm. I didn't have much time to make a nice project, but being your friend make me feel special. Yeah, me too. Is that your project? Uh-huh. Can I see it? Uh, um, well, no. It's going to be a surprise. Oh, a surprise. What you got there, Molly? Oh, hi, Tom. It's a picture of Molly and me. Poor <laughs> Millie. After all the work she'd done. But Millie wouldn't say anything to Molly. After all, Molly was her best friend. And Millie wanted her best friend to be happy, even if she wasn't. But what would Millie say when Miss Blythe asked her why she was special? Come on, Millie. One thing that makes me special is I protect the world from robot dinosaurs from the moon. I didn't bring any pictures because aliens are invisible to cameras. But I do have a picture of my dog, Zoltan, who's from Mars. And I can speak Martian to him, and he listens... While everyone else was enjoying Humphrey's project, Molly noticed that her best friend wasn't. Anyone for soccer? Bags not playing with Humphrey. Hey, let's play handball. I like kids. Where do we eat our lunch today, Millie? On the bench? Uh, not today, Molly. I still have to come up with something before this afternoon. But I thought you already had something for your project. Um, yeah, but someone else has already taken it. Again? <laughs> it couldn't have been Humphrey. I just need a think hard. See you after lunch, OK? Bye. Millie's project. <gasps> Mine. Molly, is there something the matter with Millie? She doesn't seem her usual happy self. Yes, there is. But I'm the only one that can make it better. I see. Well, I hope you can, because I don't like to see any of my special people unhappy. Miss Blythe didn't know it, but she'd just given Molly an idea. Miss Blythe, can I borrow a photograph of you from your project? Hmm, I suppose so. Now, everyone take your seats, please, and we'll get started. Did you come up with an idea? No. Don't worry. Right. I've got the a last few people to show their projects. Millie, would you like to start? Well, um, Miss Blythe... I'll go next. Good, Molly. <laughs> um, this isn't a very good presentation because I have to do it in a rush. But one thing that makes me special is that I have a special person who is my teacher. Miss Blythe. Huh? Here she is eating ice cream. And here's a picture of her with the whole class. <laughs> I borrowed it from the teacher's room. Miss Blythe cares how we all feel and thinks we are all special in our own funny ways. Even Humphrey? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I am special. Yes, you are, Humphrey. The end. Very nice, Molly. Thank you. Oh, I'm blushing. 
Perhaps, Millie, you should jump up here and show us your project before I turn into a red tomato. <laughs> is that I have Molly as my best friend. Here are pictures of us together. We cook and play dolls. And this is a picture of the scarf that my best friend knitted me, which is very precious. But what makes me feel very special is that Molly gave up what she wanted to do to make me happy. Thank you, Molly. You are very special. <laughs> Millie and Molly were the best of friends, and that's something very special. <laughs>